what we're going to cover in this little video is an inlay mount um, inserting a different colored piece of mount board into the mount similar to a double mount but it's only using one layer uh, particularly useful uh, if you haven't got much room in the rebate uh, it's also useful if you want to do a hand finished panel in that the insert you can paint it before fitting it into the, the, the main mount. First thing we do is we cut the board, top board, to size, all square. I'm going to start by putting the inlay on the back of the mount. So I have some double sided tape. This is just to hold it in place while we're cutting. So we're just going to put four very small pieces, about an inch, 25 millimetres, four pieces, one on each side, and towards the outside because we don't want it interfering with the piece we're doing in the middle. I'm just going to put a registration mark on both boards, which makes it easy for reassembly. And then our undermount or our insert, we stick to the back of the board. You have to be a little bit careful because with so little tape, it, you don't want to actually move it. It's just to hold it in place while we're cutting. Now the window we want is going to be 60 millimeters just over two, two and a quarter inches. So we're going to cut the main window first at 60 millimeters all round. And then we just cut the window. Now the inlay, this inner piece, I want that to be about 15 millimetres, so just over half an inch. Um, so I'm going to reset this to take 15 millimetres off, so that was 45. Everything is set to 45 and we cut again. And there we have the four cuts. And we can take the pieces apart and we have out. Then we have our insert and the centerpiece. Then we take the double sided tape off. Then without having changed anything on the machine, we then do the same settings again. So that's 45 millimeters. And we can discard the centre pieces. Now with our registration marks, we can reassemble the mount. I 
and then with a magic 3M8 810 tape. and there we have our inlaid mount. 